All right, so we back with some more Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. And uh, this time, it's time to destroy the Yuga Clan. Dinky Linky and Urbosa, baby. Now that the network of Sheikah Towers had been restored in oh, the, yeah. the Sheikah Slate bestowed upon Zelda's party detailed knowledge of all Hyrule. Including where the Yuga Clan base is. Empowered with this immense trove of knowledge, Hura began running calculations to locate monster camps and the Yiga clan hideout. Good shit. In hopes of heading off an assault on Hyrule Castle before it could begin, Urbosa and divine beast Varnaboris were sent on a mission. All right, it's time. Camel time, bitches. Hmm. Well, it's time. You and I must now ride into battle without the luxury of training. You had so much time to train. Why didn't you? Then again, experience is the best teacher. Yeah. In a lot of ways. But you do also need to have enough skill on your first time out that you don't die. Boom! Oh yeah! The coming of Vana Boris! Destroy the Yiga Clan! Cool. In gameplay, I can walk way faster than I was in the cutscene. <coughs> Go! Go! Ultimate move! Radio lightning zappy zap of doom! We just have to get to their base. It doesn't really matter how many enemies we kill. Bulldooga! Honestly, though, uh, it's a U, not an O, so it's probably like Moldugga. <laughs> Moldugga has been defeated. <laughs> Fuck your skeleton! Apparently there was another one around. What's also really cool is that like, it's both, each, even though when it's just walking like this, it is the slowest divine beast, when you use the dash, you're so fast. And because of that, even though you're the slowest, the actual speed that you can traverse the map is also one of the highest. So if you need to get from point A to point B quickly, you can. My special attack is ready, but I don't really need to use it, because I'm, as you can see on the map, I think, yeah, I'm basically at the end. <laughs> Crackoo! One more charge, Naboris. Also, in addition to that, like... But if 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 you if you want to, cause see that took two minutes. That's so fast. We got nine hundred rupees for it. Like that's that's one of the best divine beast rupee grinding spots in the game, for sure. Using Pura's insights, Urbosa easily accomplished her mission. Yeah, it was pretty easy. Zelda and the others witness to the immense capability of the Sheikah Towers. Good shit.
The Varna Boris mission cleared a path directly to the Yiga clan hideout. Looking to exploit this advantage, the champions moved in to strike at once. Alright, let's go. Now, obviously, uh, I didn't... <clears throat> I know that, like, Urbos is not one of my mains, but because... Partially because we're going after the Yiga clan, and partially because, you know, the mission opens with Naboris, I just thought that it would be cool to bring her. And also, even though I don't... She's not, like, one of my favorites, she definitely... I do still like her. And if I need to kick ass with her, I can. I think Link's probably up to it, but... Just in case he ain't. Mighty but Oh man, we're gonna get a lot of mighty bananas in this level. Out here. Yeah, destroy that stagger gauge. What's also cool is that like even though right now it's just like, all right, you're in, you made it inside the base now. Capture the outpost. Like, this, this is the Yiga Clan's main base, so we're probably gonna have we're gonna have to fight both Suga and Master Koga in this mission, I think. So that'll be cool. And honestly, they might they might even just have them be enemy commanders in in outposts. That's definitely a Korok. Let's grab it. Oh shit, I hit A. Uh, I'm, even, even though I know I'm supposed to hit Y, I totally just hit A out of habit because A is totally the interact button in most games. That's okay. Hey, Lizard, give me back my special. Hey, big boy, get out of my face. For a second, I was like, man, that did almost nothing to that person. I was like, oh, that's because my spin attack didn't kill the Moblin. <laughs> really? Moblin Guts is a gold item? Is it really that rare? All right, let's move on to the next base. Or at least, or at least start heading in its direction. Fire Moblin. These bombs are water, so they should fuck you up, but you know, one one stagger bar is decent, I guess. Also, uh, I'm not going to go into the details just because it'll date the video a little bit, and also I don't want to ruin it if you haven't seen it, but uh, the the fifth episode of WandaVision came out today, and so far, the show has done a really good job of progressively just having each new episode be better than the last one, and the, sh the show just is doing a really good job of just getting better and better and one-upping itself with every week. And at the rate that it's going, it's like, by the time we get to the end, because there's nine episodes, like, I don't know what to expect. Well, I kind of do, but... Oh, hey, Korok boy. But it's going to be crazy. We found a motherfucking Korok! We found two Koroks in this level. That's nice. Do, do, do. Mighty banana in the crate. They're like, whenever you kill a, it's like, if you slice through like 50 Yiga Clan dudes, you get like five mighty bananas. So that's what, 10% drop rate or something? And that's just not enough. So we're gonna have literal crates lying around where if you break them open, boom, more bananas. It's not even a Blade Master, it's literally just a big... It's literally like the Yiga Clan equivalent of a giant Bokoblin. 
sure it's level 33 because there was a lot of there was a big there was like a massive eight level level jump between the last level and this one because 25 and then 33 but still Also, right now, when it comes to my Master Sword's power, nice. Do, 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 do. Hey, guys. We just got one more outpost to get. I see that Urbosa's right by there and that I could just switch to her and be there, but I'm good for now. Close enough that I don't have... Oh, I don't have a problem with running there as Link. I got blown up! Boo do 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 Alright, let's keep moving, Link. I guess you too, Impa. I know you're not, like, playable, but you're with me for some reason, so let's go. Terrico is always with, uh, Link, because, like, w whenever you play as Link, he's with you. Whenever you play as someone else, he's nowhere to be seen. And I, I think that if Link is on the map as an NPC, he's with that Link, but I'm not, not 100% about that. Just because playing as Link is very rare. Not, I'm sorry, having Link in a map and not playing as him is what is very rare. Well, wow, just another regular giant Yiga. Get out of here, you big Yiga. Right, got it. we got him. It's weird, like, this is totally like a weapons room. Like, it's weird that- It's weird that we don't fight Suga or Koga in that room. A scout? Hey, buddy. Go away. Ooh, big rupees. Five each, so 25 total. Man, the Yiga Clan pay. I mean, I know they always have, but still, like, good job, Bosa. I was like, she had time to make it through, but she would need the she would she would have needed to like dash or run, not just leisurely walk. Hey, Korok. That's a third one in this level. God damn. I, all, all of them in... A lot of the ones in this level are just not hidden at all. Which is good, because, like, I definitely need more Koroks. Mm -hmm. Defeat the Yiga Blade Masters. Don't mind if I do. Yeah! Moonlight. Skimitar. He might be too far away. Nope. Uh -huh. Destroy all of the Yika Clan. And they got a couple of goblins helping him. It feels like we've defeated a huge amount of enemies, but it's only been a couple hundred. But I think that that's because uh, when you're inside, everything feels a lot smaller and more compact. And because of that, uh, like, a hundred enemies inside a building feels like way more than a hundred enemies outside a building. Get out of here. Yeah, I gotta feed him to open the door. Boosh. I'm surprised they didn't have to fight um, a bunch of Yigas in that room to get the door to open. 
I think I think that's because we already went through that room on the way in. Because it's not super complicated, of course, especially considering that, you know, we have a map. Basically, this place is a labyrinth, but it's it's a simple one, and because we have a map that is accurate, it's also easy to literally just be like, look at the map to figure out where I need to go. However, without looking at the map, it could maybe be a little hard to navigate. All right, it's down through the spiky door. Doop, doop. Bananas and rupees. <clears throat> like, because of the fact that, like, because, like, Every time you defeat a Yiga Clan member, they have a chance to drop rupees. And then there's also boxes everywhere that have like 25, 30 rupees in them each. We're getting like, like it feels like, yeah, we're finding a decent amount of rupees. But no, like when I started this mission, I was broke and had like literally no money. But now I have 1,600, which means, oh, no. I did get 900 from the Divine Beast segment at the beginning. Which means I've gotten like 600 from the ground, so that's what? Beating the Divine Beast segment gave me 900. Then I've gotten like 700, 600, something like that from beating up all the enemies. And then I'm going to get another probably 900 or so from actually completing the mission at the end. So even though that's like the normal... 16, 1700 from the mission chunks. That's like, it's gonna be like 2,500 or so from all the boxes. And I'm pretty sure that all these sh this shit respawns after I replay the mission. So this is definitely a good rupee grind spot. What's up, Scout? Yeah, just spawn the Yiga Clan me member that I need to beat the shit out of to get the door to open. What's good? Beat that ass, beat that ass. Beat his ass, beat his ass, beat his ass. Stasis. Beat his ass, beat his ass, beat his ass. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Your grass, buddy, your grass. All right. Ooh, we freed her. And now a do oh, a hidden door opens. Oh, that's the hidden door that leads into the room where... I know exactly where that is, because in, in Breath of the Wild, when you're in this location and you're going after... and you're here to kill Koga, and to... Technically, technically you're here to get the Thunder Helm back for... Uh, for Riju. Yeah, cause 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 basically it's like you need to you need to tame the Boris, but to do that you need the Thunder Helm. But the Yiga clan has stolen it, so you're here to get it back. But Koga gets in your way, so you kill him. But the point is, uh, that hidden door that opened in the wall, you total like that's the door that leads to the Koga pit room. So we're gonna we're totally gonna fight him in this the in the room where he dies in Breath of the Wild. Except I don't think you die in this time. Actually, we know he's not because he needs to be alive in a hundred years to be in Breath of the Wild. Choppy! Choppy! Maybe next time, Suga. Open the gate. Wow, four of them. But I, I, I'm probably finding more of them just because, like, two of them were in boxes. 
Two of the four that we found were technically hidden in boxes, so it's like, I'm smashing boxes for rupees, and that technically resulted in two of the four Koroks I got in this mission. Alright, let's fight, boy. Master Koga, Route 2! Uh well, I don't mind. I don't mind. Ooh. I'm getting kinda hungry. I'm probably gonna have to get food after this episode. Oh damn, it's 7 30, that would explain why. The last time I ate was at 10 a.m. <laughs> Let's dance, Koga. Yes! Master! Oh, he needs minions. That's fine. That's just more thing. That's just more guys for me to charge up my super moves with. Now, in fact, the stupendous chief of the Yiga Clan, Master Koga, is gonna kill you all. Where the fuck is that spotlight coming from, Koga? There is nothing above us. Oh. No, maybe it's from that thingy. That yellow thingy. Whoosh! Defeat! Master Koga! Kick his ass, team! Kick his ass! Yeah, you're a lazy bad guy. <laughs> Spin the wind! Oh, Magnesis. Oh, but it's not recharged because I like, just used Cryo, so that was probably for the best. Smash! Master Koga! More minions. Suga! Suga's here too. But Koga's almost uh, defeated, so. Yes, yeah, see, look, in, e even though Suga is here and is on the battlefield now, my actual objective is just to defeat Koga. And because Coco's almost defeated, like, I, it is true that Suga's a boss and that therefore if I defeat him, I'll probably get, like, bossy XP and that therefore it might technically be, like, a good idea and worth it. But I also kind of see just kicking the ass that needs to be kicked for, oh, he's only at, like, half health. But, yep, I got the weak point on Koga, so I took it. Um, yep, and there's the pit. I don't, we, we still don't know what that pit is for or why it's there. 977, good shit. Uh, recipes. 35% Shikarun damage? Okay. That, that's gotta just apply to, like, uh, the bomb stasis cryo and magnesis. Because if that, if that also applied to Zelda just because of the fact that technically all of her moves use the Shikarunes, it would, it would make it so that that would, like, that would be 35% damage on everything Zelda, and that's just too... That's too good. 7% special attack charge rate, that's interesting. The special... It's it's one of those things... The special attack gauge in this game is weird, because it's one of those things where, like... Whenever you're, like, fighting bosses, and... Whenever you're fighting bosses, and you're just laying into one beefy enemy... 
it doesn't do much, and therefore charge rate could be really helpful for a boss fight. I'm afraid we cannot. However, when you're fighting mooks and hordes of enemies, it charges insanely fast, and therefore you don't even need you don't need to make it faster or basically useless. But that's because I think that it's it's uh, even this defeat. I think that that the charge rate is it's either determined by how many hits you land or total damage done. Because think about it, because like if you're fighting a boss, you hit them once and it does seventy damage, right? But if with mooks, it's like you hit the attack button once and you hit five enemies. So that's five hits instead of one, and you'd also do seventy damage times five, so that would be. 7, 14, 21, 350 damage instead of 70. Like, there's definitely a reason why it charges faster. Yeah, Suga and Koga definitely do not like Astor. And in addition to that, Astor takes Ganon's power for granted and just assumes that it will be his and acts like he's entitled to it. And because of that... Not only not only is Ganon going to pu totally punish Aster for that when he comes, but the Yiga clan are totally going to betray Aster as well. Now, betraying Aster does not mean betraying Ganon, and it doesn't mean working with us. But yeah, the Yiga clan will betray Aster, and Ganon is going to Ganon cuck Aster. Cool? So we can totally travel, right now. we can totally fast travel from any tower to any tower now, just like in Breath of the Wild. Good for you. It's, Pur Pura's like, Robbie's important, and he does put in good work, but I'm more important, and I put in more good work. Anyway, I'm glad for your help, Pura. All right. Let's see how much shit we unlock. A story mission, of course. We always get a story mission when we beat a story mission. Oh, okay. So right after Destroy the Yiga Clan is where we can get Maz Koshia. What do we need? Uh... So we have to just purchase three of these, and then we can... No? It looks like with him, it's literally just, uh... Purchase three upgrades on the map, and then do a battle. Two bonus hearts for Link, that's yummy. So for this one, we need Hinox. Oh, Hinoxes and Lionels. What a pain in the ass. Bravo, because if if he if if unlocking him isn't a mission and it's just one battle, I probably will have it just be uh, part of a story mode episode. See a Hestu upgrade. And Mifa. I am stronger than I gotta defeat Hinox's and Lionel's. Like, they're not <coughs> they're not super hard or anything, but they are a little bit obnoxious. Well, <coughs> really just Lionel's. 
It is also true, though, that I suppose technically I could just play the Mifa mission and just, like, beat the shit out of that level 6 red Lionel really easily. Where's the third one for... Two bonus hearts for Daruk. Man, Daruk, you have a lot of bonus hearts and a lot of special gauge, considering that I don't like you and never use you. Another fairy upgrade. Ah, Terrico's literally pointing right at him. Uh, rubies and sapphires? Okay. Nice. Oh. Oh, and a mission I haven't even be Defeat the same. Um. Cool. And we got an Aborus mission. That's sexy shit. That is some sexy, sexy shit. Here's another mission. Oh, beat up whiz robes. Okay. Oh, and what level is the next story mission? Level 35. Okay, so... Yeah, you're very much so, uh... Supposed to transition straight from Destroy the Yiga to Courage Fails, which makes sense, because it only unlocked a couple battles for us. But also a character. Oh, but there's but technically only one battle in the act of getting the character. Um, cool. So next time when I come back, we should be getting. I think we're probably gonna open by getting Maz Koshia and then transition into when Courage Falls fails. Uh, so I hope you guys are enjoying awesome. the content. Uh, I am definitely enjoying making the content for whatever that is worth. I don't have the coin for it. That's expensive. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, thanks again, and until next time, peace!